Hello, and welcome back to Vintage Story and the Aura Fury server. And so, I found some bits here. Just started digging. Luckily, found some copper right by the surface. And so, hopefully, we can get a little bit of something here. Looks like some medium chunks. And this will help me get the rest of my stuff. It's a good bit of chunks up above. I kind of hope. I have no idea if it reflects what, how much is down below, but we'll dig down and see what's down here. And I don't have any other way to do it except for just digging right now. I don't have the flax and whatever all that it is to make all the bombs make it easier. So that one wasn't real big. So I found another place that was up and further north and dug out stuff between two different rock types. And so these were different chunks. And so I have the mediums and mediums and poor that were from one of the first areas. And then because all this is sand and gravel, I'm gonna make it look as nice as I can <laughs> and not like leave holes and stuff here. So just cover it back up. Had a couple bits around here. And then we can just put some of this down, or not. Okay, not quite like Minecraft. <laughs> I have to put something stable down and then a gravity block. So we got a bunch around here. I might look for a little bit more or just go back home and start banging away on this. Or, and uh, where you are, and out in springtime, which makes it easier for me. Alright, so we need our hammer that we got made last time, and we're going to chunk away, because it says take your hammer and make it into bits. So we'll just take a bunch of each of these, and we're getting a good bit from the mediums. And fours, of course, not so much, and it takes a little bit of durability to do that. So crucible, of course, and we can get some put in there. And we have a little bit left. We got some of our other molds. A couple of our sh stuff is getting kind of low, so probably a good idea with to make a bunch more of these tools here. And so, like always, just heating up the crucible and a fire with some coal. And then we can go over to the mold and pour it out. And I'm hoping that maybe it just it won't like. It just stops after, and it hits 900, and I guess you can't do anymore. So we got 150 left, and probably, I mean, I guess it won't matter, but our shovel's almost broken, <laughs> so we can't repair tools at the moment, so we might as well do that. And I don't know if this is enough. It says there's 50 in there, but it's looking a little shallow there, so... To see if I can get more in there or not. So likewise get more of our copper and smelt it up. Alright, let's see what happens with this. So 50 up to 100 and it stops. So like the other ones say like 100 on 100 or whatever, 900 and 900. Anyhow, we have this done. It takes a while to cool off. Don't need the mold anymore. <laughs> Can't get that out of the way. It's pretty big. And I don't know if we'll get to use it for other things. Probably. We'll see. But we got a copper anvil, and this will let us build other things on it. And I probably need a hammer. I'm guessing. Let's see what happens with this. And we can get one of our ingots out. Let's go to our guide. So our smithing guide, we have, yep, got the anvil done, we've gotten, let's see, smelting, done charcoal, I guess the forge is the only thing left we have to do after this, so we can get the rest of our charcoal, I made some more, we weren't completely out, but I wanted to figure I'd get a little bit more done here. 
So we'll just dig all of this out and get some of our charcoal left. Alright, so let's look up our forge under our everything and we can get the block before it and you can see that it takes any kind of cobblestone and in my box I've been making some various different cobblestone and whatnot bricks so I can start building and uh, I probably will just use this type because I got a little bit more of it I need one more got our forge so I guess it, it just doesn't matter which type and probably be best to put this right by it and we'll need to put fuel in it so like shift right click of course I'm gonna shift right click for the torches I got my tool tips off and I don't think the fire is liking the rain so let's try to fix that with some not that quite that way, but fix it with a, a temporary <laughs> little cover. That, that'll hopefully help it. I don't know if it'll actually put it out like real fires, but you never know. So we need to stick our ingot in. And I'm guessing it'll take a little bit of time as the temperature goes up. And while we're waiting, we can always stick in another crucible and start getting some more stuff melted and that will take a little bit longer time because there's more of the copper in there so we'll just let it kind of sit there and this is looking a little more red hot so hopefully we can work this out and shift place it on to the anvil and there's a lot of different selections so there's things that'll be for later. Looks like we can do some of the tools, some stuff for armor, the copper plate for lanterns. I'll look at that up and see how much we need for those plates. And yeah, it's gonna be in a whole bunch of different things, including some chests, but three different types of lanterns depending on the materials you have. And we can also do shears and scythe and saw. Those those are a lot of those. I want all three of those. <laughs> but you can only do them here. So I, I want to get the chisel. I want to get the plate. I want to saw. Oh, there's lots of stuff. I got to start somewhere. <laughs> may not be the best. But, oh, we can do the hammer. And now we get stuff kind of like the napping. And F mode to change it. So I think this will be likewise a, a long process of moving and flattening the, the metal bits around. So we'll see how this goes. Probably also hope. I don't know. It seems to be changing color as it's sitting there. And this is practically done. So we can start putting this stuff out as it looks like. Copper plates are going to take two ingots. Well, there's no way to know that beforehand, but that's good to remember for next time. <laughs> but we luckily have lots of copper here. So once this is all molten metal now, not just heated up. Uh, we'll get a few ingots in and then we can add it on there. That'll be good. And we'll probably get a little bit of uh, probably everything here. I think we have enough copper for that. And it's interesting the crucibles at different colors. This one's white. And 300, so it's getting a little more red. Hmm. Can't add it to there, so I'm gonna have to wait and I guess add it an ingot later. 
guessing it. I was hoping that I didn't have to let it cool down too much, but looks like it needs to cool down some. And then, yeah. And we've been using this hammer quite a bit, so we're definitely going to need another one here. So I'll just let it cool down as well. And now we're done with that, and that kind of leaves us with, I think, Yep, an even amount, so 60 and 120, so that will work out for some full ingots as well. And cannot take them out yet. Alright, so finally got one of these guys in here. I had gotten the, the plate finished, you had just had to add it on there, which worked out pretty easily. I'm pretty happy about that, so I figured let's do the easy tool here and do the chisel. And so we got our hammer. Looks like we need to elongate it. magenta outline would be removed. So we'll split that off. Being careful to not take off too much. You can add it, I think, back on? I don't know. But you want to be careful with this. Have a good mouse to do this as well. And this one's at least a very simple design. This is the, I guess, exception to the rule. You just need to have hammer and chisel. Chisel's nice and hot, but don't need to do anything with it other than just use the chisel. So, I had seen from looking at our guide, and find our bricks, you can do these rocks and change them with a hammer and chisel into polished. So that uses up a little more durability also. So from there you can also chisel it again and get these like bricks and from typing in there's a whole bunch of different kinds of bricks but chisel on that will let you get into the stone brick things but we need to have mortar and of course we need a barrel and stuff for that. So, good thing is we have made a whole bunch of tools, some backup tools, but more importantly, you can get into using the copper saw now, and uh, got a whole bunch of wood saved up, so we can start making boards to make new things. And all that will help me continue building over in that direction and finally get something done. And a little bit maybe over there. We'll check on next time. Thanks for watching, and see you later.